What's up everyone? It's Bobby here with Thundermax Tech Support. Today we're going to be discussing base map selection. So you've got your Thundermax ECM installed on your bike, you've got the software installed on your computer, and now it's time to choose a base map. When choosing a base map, we're not really worried about the exact name brand or the exact part. You may say, I don't see my cam, I don't see my exhaust, I don't see my head. What we wanna do is get you as close as possible. That way in the future, when you're developing your map, it doesn't take as long for our auto-tune feature to make the corrections needed. So now you're gonna go into your software, you're gonna open up EFI maps at the top of the software to the left. When you open that up, it's gonna give you a couple of choices. I'm gonna give you three choices, actually. It's gonna give you M8 maps, it's gonna give you throttle by wire maps, and throttle by cable maps. And there'll be years and other details out to the side. Pick the base map selection that matches your bike. Let's say you've got an M8 map. So we're gonna click on Big Twin M8 maps. And it's gonna pull up a list of maps make sure you look down at the bottom and show all maps is selected. Once you do that, you'll look at the top of the base map list and you'll see manufacturer, engine type, throttle, exhaust, cam, and so on. If you want to take that list and click on engine type, you can list them from highest to lowest, click it again, lowest to highest, however way you want to. Let's say you have a 107. Scroll down, find 107, and right click on it. Once you right click it, it's gonna narrow down all the 107 base maps. All you'll see are 107 base maps. So now we've got your engine size. Next, let's move on to picking your throttle and injectors. Same thing, find your throttle body, your injector size, right click, narrows it down again. Over to exhaust, find your exhaust. Here you may see some name brands thrown in with the types of exhaust. We're not worried about matching your name brand. We just need to know whether it's a true dual, two and a one, crossover, uh, two and a one and a two, stuff like that. Again, don't hang up on not having your manufacturer's pipe. Let's say you've got a two and a one, we're just gonna select two and a one, right click again, narrows down all your two and the one maps. Scroll over, uh, all of our air cleaners and stuff like that are developed, it's using like a high flow air cleaner style. Go over to your cam, do the same thing. Find the cam that closest matches your engine combination. Um, you may say, I don't see a 575, but there may be a 574 and so on. Find the cam that closest matches your profile. Um, let's say you got a, a 574, but you don't see it, but I see this, five, this 475 map here. Right click it, it's gonna show all the 475 cams. So now you've got it narrowed down. All right, so once you've narrowed down the base maps and you found the base map that you're gonna use, you're gonna wanna double click that base map. Scroll down and click load that base map. We've got it loaded. So now it is loaded. Now we need to write that base map to the ECM. You can do that a couple of different ways. Uh, the easiest way is you can click inside the map and use Control and W, and that will write the map to the ECM. The second way you can do that is go up to the top of the software, over to Map Editing, click it open, Scroll down till you see right module maps and settings. And that's gonna do the same thing as a control W. You're gonna write that map to your ECM. And now that you've done all that, you're ready to start developing your map. And we'll talk about that later on. All right, thanks everybody for joining in and uh, watching this tech video with me. For those of you who don't know, we're gonna be filming some more tech videos, going over some new stuff. So if you want, like, subscribe, that way you've got the most up-to-date news and you can stay in the loop on what we got going on here at Thunder Max. As always, if you have any issues or concerns, please contact Thunder Max Tech Support.